Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, well, we have this uh, fantastic uh, Millie, Mark Millie, uh, coming out from his little uh, basement and will inform us of how many casualties are on both sides, actually, <clears throat> in Ukraine. Actually, both sides meaning uh, Ukrainian side and the Russian side, not how many Russians and how many Ukrainians died. That's a different story because we don't exactly know who's fighting for whom over there. I mean, we can, uh, you know, have some information, but they're not going to uh, classify them on uh, group, <laughs> on group, uh, you know. Um, so let's say membership. This article comes from uh, Associated Press and it's from November 9th, 2022. And uh, this is the title. Well over 100,000 Russian troops killed or wounded in Ukraine, U U.S. says. Milly says likely similar Ukrainian military casualties plus 40,000 civilians killed. Russia's announced retreat from Kherson, a regional capital in south, southern Ukraine that it seized early in the war and a potential stale stalemate in fighting over the winter could provide both countries an opportunity to negotiate peace. It's not you have to negotiate and not them. You and the Russians, you, not uh, those parts. Uh, Army General Mark Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, said Wednesday. Just as a uh, piece of information, I think this guy is an average Joe. And I don't feel very safe with him being uh, in charge of uh, the U.S. military. Uh, all right, joint chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff. Why? I heard him. I listened to him speaking. That was it. And I encourage you to say, do the same thing. Don't let other people telling you how fantastic this guy. Just listen to him. That's my suggestion. You're not. Uh, you're not incapable of figuring things out or listening to a weasel and know that that's a weasel. This is a weasel. All right, so, and I, uh, I recommend that video where uh, he shows up in, the, in front of the U.S. Senate's Commission of something and he talks about the white man's rage. That's his uh, principal problem in the U.S. military. This guy needs a, a few smackings. He said as many as 40,000 Ukrainian civilians and well over 100,000 Rus Romanian <laughs> Russian soldiers have been killed or wounded in the war now in its ninth month. Same thing probably on the Ukrainian side, Milly added. And I'm quoting again. There has been tremendous amount of suffering, hum, human suffering, he said, at the Economic Club of New York. Economic Club, a military general. What the fuck are you doing there? <laughs> we know what he's doing over there. Uh, President Zelensky said Tuesday he was open to peace talks with Russia to end the war, but only on the condition that Russia return all, the, all of Ukraine's occupied lands. Well, if we agree that those were yours in the first place. And if you look at it, yes, then you will base it on what? On 1991 or on 1918? Oh, let's say I would like to refer um, and go back to 1916 and see uh, what was the territory of Ukraine then. Or let's go to, I don't know, 1889 and see what was the Ukraine's territory then. And you're gonna find that none of whatever they have then was theirs. Okay, let's go to the 1918. Let's go to the territories that were uh, accumulated by the Soviet Union, right? Let's go after 1945 and see the new territories accumulated and given and taken. Let's go to 1956, wasn't it? Look at Khrushchev, uh, 1956, what was it? 
when Khrushchev gave, gave Crimea to Ukraine. I think it was 56, 54, 56, I think it was I, one of these dates. Doesn't really matter, in the mid 50s, good enough for American uh, college. I tell, you, I tell you that, direct experience. I don't have to give mid, mid 50s, I would say in 20th century, and that's good enough. <laughs> that's the requirement here. You don't have to exact to say the exact date, I don't know, uh, May 25th, uh, 1954. We don't have to know it like that. You have to say, well, in the 20th century, sometime uh, Soviet Union, uh, a guy in charge of a country gave uh, another country or another uh, socialist, uh, Ukrainian socialist Soviet Republic, gave some territory like, uh, hey, Crimea, from another socialist, uh, blah, 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 blah. That's how Kamala knows history. Someone gave to something somewhere, uh, somehow in a certain place, uh, basically don't know shit. So anyway, and these guys are the intellectuals and that she is the vice president. Ex uh, anyway, so the same with this guy. Uh, he would uh, discuss with uh, Russians on the condition that Russia returns all of Ukraine's occupied lands. Like what? Like what? What, 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 what are your lands? Maybe those were the, the Russian lands? No? Why not? Oh, because they were given to you? By whom? And from whom? I would talk like Kamala. By someone, something, somewhere, never Trabalaba. Uh, provide compensation for war damage and face prosecution for war crimes. Now, you tell me if these requirements could be not could be, yeah, they could be, but would be fulfilled by the Russians. Oh yeah, you know what, Zelensky, we do that. And besides, we're going to give everything up to Moscow, we're going to give it to you. Because you're used to getting other people's land. Hungarian land, Romanian land, Polish land, Russian land, every kind of land you can find, you were given by Soviet Union and others. So, you want more? We're going to give you that. And we don't want to do this, we're going to hang Putin and all those guys over there in charge not prosecute them. Let's go straight to the Nuremberg trials and then and conduct that kind of trial and then we're gonna hang them all, okay, and we're gonna put a, a weasel, maybe Navalny or whatever his name is, that guy on the payroll of the same ones you are on the payroll, and then give reparations like 50% uh, of the production of oil and natural gas of Russia should go to, not to you, not to Ukraine, to you, and you can distribute it to uh, nobody, and uh, what else? Uh, Whatever you want, man. Maybe you can take over Russia and you can be the president of Russia. Are you okay? Just as a starter. What else you want? I mean, really. That's exactly, exactly, uh, not exactly, it's even worse, I would say, than the Poles did in a second, before the Second World War be, with, the, with the Germans about the Danzig Corridor. Gdansk, if you remember that story. They were not like so bluntly and hey, we want this, we want that, we want that. No. They were, yeah, we talk about it, yeah. I don't know if I make up my mind now. We're going to talk later. And later again, I don't know. That's called, uh, negotiate, that's called negotiating in bad faith. Why? Because you had the Brits and the French, especially the Brits, again, who told them, the Poles, no, 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 no. No, nothing, no concessions, nothing with the Germans, okay? Let them attack you if they dare. And if they do, we're going to intervene. I'm going to smack them in their snot. And... You have it. And the Germans tried, 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 tried. I'm not trying to defend, uh, defend Germany, but even if I do, but that's our fact. I'm not uh, pulling out of my ass and say, hey, the Germans. No, that's, how, that's how it was. <laughs> the, uh, the same. The Poles were given, right, were given after the First World War, lands from different countries, including Germany. Poland was no country, did not exist as an entity, as a country, before... To, uh, between uh, what was 1790 or something, 90 some, to uh, 1918, after the Second World War. It was no country, it was taken by others and so on. It lost its territory. And then after that, it was gi given back from others, including German, East Prussia, and Danzig, and other areas. And then they didn't want to give it back, or at least create a corridor and so on. So anyway, the same here. This guy wants to... Uh, put, set some preconditions that will never be met by the other side. They never say, see, I want to negotiate, but you have to kill your mom first, kill your dad, hang your children, and then we don't going to talk about it. 
really? How, and we're going to talk about how will you be raped by those guys over there. Thank you very much. And say, see, I want to negotiate, but first you do all those things. <laughs> and we take these guys seriously. Russia has said it is open to talks and this week announced that it had begun a retreat from Kherson. Zelensky has warned that the Russians are uh, fainting, fading a pullout from Kherson to lure the Ukrainian army into an, an entrenched battle in the strategic industrial, industrial port city, a getaway to the Russian-occupied Crimean Peninsula. Milley, the highest ranking US military officer, said Russia has amassed 20,000 to 30,000 troops in Kherson and a full retreat could take several weeks. So, um, well, he knows best. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's got information. I don't know if this guy is able to process the information. I'm talking about Milley. And even if he processes it, I don't know if he's going to give it to us uh, the way it is or he's just gonna filter it and uh, makes the connections that's gonna you know give us whatever product he's gonna give us he's a salesman he's not a uh, uh, military guy I don't think he's a I, I don't know how these guys get to that those positions I and uh, the same with uh, Austin General Austin I listened to them speak and I'm not an idiot you are not an idiot listen to them and you tell me if their intelligence uh, exemplified by their statements uh, goes above, above a 13 year old boy okay a girl had more brains at 30 uh, than a boy at 13 that's why I used a boy uh, probably as a girl at 13 is about 17 you know their brain develops faster and so on so anyway uh, 100,000 Russians uh, and uh, probably the same amount of Ukrainians and some people are counting the money and uh, draw the map somewhere else in a very nice uh, uh, chancelleries with uh, smoking uh, Cuban cigars and drinking some bourbon whiskey and they are very very important people which they are because they dictate how people live and how people die fantastic you gotta love this world thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just